what's up? Me Mug713 on behalf of Nerd Stash, and I'm here with this gigantic man here, Mr. Jake the Snake Roberts. How are you doing today, sir? Doing great, doing great. Awesome. Just curious, how tall are you? you like it's like on television, you doesn't seem too so tall. Six five soft. Six five soft, okay. Yeah. Six hard. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good Awesome. So, uh, congratulations. You are now a WWE Legends, correct? All of Famer, man, right there. Oh, man. See? That's that's his little credential right there. <laughs> so, tell me, like, do you actually have a real fascination with snakes? You know, truth is, I hate snakes, man. I couldn't stand them. But, um, you know, I came up with that character one night when I was drinking beer and smoking pot. So. Right. Sometimes you need to check these ideas out because it's like I took the idea out there and I handed it to him and then I went, wait a minute, I'm terrified of snakes, holy crap, what do I do now? And uh, you know, bottom line is you put enough money on that table, I will pick it up and I will pick the snake up too. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> bottom line, I'm just a whore. Yeah. Hey, Are hey. We Are we all? Are we all? So tell me, uh, during your career as Jake the Snake Roberts, was there like a favorite rivalry or story arc that you had a particular uh, favoritism? I was very fortunate to be in the ring with some of the greatest talent ever. I Absolutely. mean, uh, Ricky Steamboat, Ronnie Garvin, Andre the Giant, Ted DiBiase, Rick Rude, Earthquake, oh, Bad News Allen. I mean, right down the line, man. I, I was just so fortunate to be in that time, yeah. you know, and um, it was quite a ride, man. Yeah. Quite a ride. Absolutely. Like, back in those days, I didn't, I was like, yay high. I wasn't watching it until I was probably about my teenage years. But now, since they have the WWE Network, I went back and binge watch yeah, a bunch man. of those old uh, episodes and everything, especially the pay-per-views. Good stuff. Oh, you, you already know. <laughs> Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. I'm so grateful for the WWE Network because I'm getting a whole new fan base. You know, I come to these Comic Cons and stuff, and, and I look at this kid, he's five years old, there's no way in hell he's ever seen me wrestle. But WWE Network, man, and, and hey, they're feeding me. That's a good thing. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Going back to the snakes things, I know you said that you hate snakes, and I'm assuming you don't own any personal. No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. I, uh, I gave those up, along with alcohol and cocaine. <laughs> put all three. Hey, absolutely, man. You got a sobriety is a very important yeah, thing. Three and a half years sober now. Okay. Check the movie out. It's on iTunes right now. It's number one on iTunes. You know, and I'm just telling all the kids out there, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a bad road, man. It's a real bad road. Yeah. Absolutely, and I'm, I'm glad you're so open about yeah, that. Cause you want to live free, man. You got to stay free of the stuff that hurts you. And uh, you know, people say, well, "Why'd you do cocaine?" Because I liked it. It was fun at first, but right around the corner, hell was waiting, man, and it got me. Yeah, it got me. Absolutely. Well, Jake, it's been an honor. Be sure to check out Reservation of Jake the Snake on iTunes, and yeah, it's been an honor, dude. Definitely. Hey, remember, always feed your snake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> always feed your snake. Me, Mug713 on half Nerd Stash signing out.